Look at the definition of defilement. It's, it's um, unlawful carnal knowledge of a child below the age of 16. Already we can tell that there are children who have missed out. There are children who are not being protected. Because in our constitution we're saying this is someone who should have attended 18 and those below. And when we're talking about defilement, we're saying we're only protecting those uh, below the age of 16. And it says unlawful carnal knowledge. So that's where the problem has come in. From, the def from that word unlawful. That's where we had this uh, clever um, judge who said, if we're saying unlawful, then they should be lawful. Uh, lawful kind of knowledge. I'm having sex with my wife. What are you talking about, you know? So, the, so that, that particular judgment has allowed um, the marriage of uh, children who are under age to continue. To have another prosecution, either they prosecute somebody and they get to change that judgment, change that precedent, or we just have a law that we just say, you know, let us protect our children. So the legal framework is, is quite weak. And uh, the dual system, we, we see how the, uh, the dual legal system is working and how it is uh, leaving some children unprotected. We have the, the president who is supposed to be the ambassador, or the, 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 the champion of ending child marriage in Africa. So we also calling on, on him that uh, being the president of the country he, uh, and also the responsibility that the, the African, uh, African continent has actually put on him, uh, he should come out strong on ending child marriage in, in, Af in Africa as well as uh, in Zambia.